beaker in front of me and also projected on the screen is a solution of copper 2 sulfate, which has a typically blue color. I have two beakers on the side here. One contains aqueous ammonia and the other contains sulfuric acid. sulfate meets hydroxide in ammonium hydroxide. Let's see what happens. You can see that the addition of a little bit of ammonium hydroxide actually causes that clear blue solution to turn into a light blue precipitate. So that's just uh, another shade of blue that copper 2 has to offer. But there's still another one. Don't worry, Kubrick. Words in the hole. Don't worry, Kubrick. Words in the hole. If you see Ammonia, we're actually going to see this precipitate change into a dark blue solution. You can see the dark blue is forming. And on top of the dark blue forming, the precipitate is actually going to disappear. There it goes. So we've actually seen the clear blue copper 2 ion precipitate to form a light blue solid. And then the light blue solid yields this dark blue solution. So what's actually going on in this beaker? Well, here we have a set of four equilibria, which are all occurring at the same time. So we start off with our copper 2 plus ion from copper 2 sulfate, which you can see in the, both of these two equilibria. And what we're adding when we add aqueous ammonia is not actually one species, ammonia, but four species. Ammonia and water are actually in equilibrium with ammonium and hydroxide ion. So when we add aqueous ammonia, we're actually increasing the hydroxide concentration. And increasing the hydroxide hydroxide concentration actually affects this solubility equilibrium involving copper 2 hydroxide. Increasing hydroxide by Lichtenthalia's principle should drive this equilibrium to the left, which will increase the presence of copper 2 hydroxide, which is our light blue solid that we saw. While continuing to add more aqueous ammonia, we're also increasing the concentration of ammonia. That in turn affects this equilibrium between copper 2 plus and ammonia, which forms a copper 2 amine complex, which is our dark blue solution that you can see right now in the beaker. Increasing the ammonia drives this equilibrium to the right, which then increases our dark blue copper complex. But we also see the precipitate disappear. Well, that's because shifting this equilibrium to the right also decreases the copper 2 concentration, which affects 
our solubility equilibrium. Decreasing copper 2 shifts this equilibrium back to the right, causing our precipitate to disappear. So, being that these are equilibria, we should actually be able to reverse them. So, what I have in the other beaker is sulfuric acid. Let's see if we can predict what will happen. Sulfuric acid should increase the concentration of H+. This is the dissociation equilibrium from water, which can dissociate into both H plus and OH ions. Increasing the H plus concentration should drive this back to the left, which should decrease the concentration of hydroxide. This will affect our ammonia equilibrium, which also contains hydroxide. Decreasing hydroxide should shift it back to the right, which in turn decreases ammonia on this side. Well, the chain effect also affects our complex equilibrium. Decreasing ammonia should drive this equilibrium back to the left, and that should also decrease our dark blue color. So one of the first things we should expect to see when we add acid is the dark blue color should start to disappear. But that's not the only thing that should happen. Shifting this equilibrium to the left should increase copper. Increasing copper will affect our solubility equilibrium. Shifting it back to the left which should increase our precipitate. So not only should we see our dark blue disappear, we should see the precipitate, light blue precipitate return. And if we continue to add acid, we should continue to shift this equilibrium to the left, decreasing hydroxide, which should also affect our solubility equilibrium. And decreasing hydroxide should shift it back to the right which should then cause our precipitate to disappear, and we should end up back where we started, the copper 2 plus. So, let's see if our predictions are correct. Putting it back on the big screen, turning the stirring back on. The first thing we should see is dark blue should disappear, the precipitate should return, and then the precipitate should disappear giving us back our light blue copper 2 plus solution. So adding a little bit of acid. We're already starting to see some precipitate reform. And that dark blue color is starting to get lighter. There's our precipitate coming back. Dark blue is still going away. Dark blue is almost gone now, so our complex is almost completely disappeared, and our precipitate's back. But continuing to add acid should continue to drive down the hydroxide, and our precipitate should re-dissolve. And there's our clear blue copper 2 plus solution again. So, I hope you've enjoyed the equilibrium blues.